Nuclear radiation, the power of the atom unleashed, and yet bottled up safely in this container. Or is it? Stay tuned to see how well nuclear radiation penetrates different materials, and if it can be used to bake a cutlet. For this experiment, we are using a radioactive cobalt-60 isotope as a radiation source that emits dangerous gamma radiation due to its natural decay. This radioactive material is used for cancer therapy and also for food sterilization. A Geiger counter is used to measure the amount of radiation emitted from the material. In this device, the tube is filled with inert gas, and if the gas is ionized due to the interaction with radiation, then the resulting current is measured, and counts are displayed. The more radiation, the more counts. In today's experiment, different common materials are placed between the radiation source and the counter, in order to see if and how well they block the gamma rays. For that experiment, we are testing wood, aluminum, steel, tungsten, and human. Well, not exactly human, but a bunch of pork cutlets that simulate a human body. The first step is to measure the background radiation. As you can see, the device records 80 counts within 100 seconds. Now it's time to measure the radiation directly emitted from the exposed radioactive material. And the result is 567 counts, which is 7 times larger than the natural background radiation. In order to see how efficiently wood blocks the dangerous gamma rays, we placed a thick layer of wood between the radiation source and the Geiger counter. 523 counts within 100 seconds is pretty close to the amount measured with bare radioactive substrate, and clearly shows that wood is an extremely bad material for protecting yourself from nuclear radiation. Next, we decided to test aluminum, as astronauts spend a lot of time in space and the spaceship has to be prepared from light materials such as aluminum alloys. Therefore, we used 24mm of aluminum, as that's how thick the spaceship's walls are. After 100 seconds of measuring, we see 450 counts, which means that spaceship walls made of aluminum hardly protect the astronauts from gamma rays. One of the most common materials in the world is steel, and therefore we decided to test 18 mm of steel for radiation shielding, as this thickness is common in mobile infantry military vehicles. Steel with this thickness can stop a bullet, and apparently it also significantly, but not completely, blocks nuclear gamma radiation. As the penetration of the radiation strongly depends on the atomic number of the material, we also decided to test tungsten, that has a high atomic number and extremely high melting temperature. Although tungsten layer was only 5 mm thin, it significantly blocked the gamma rays. We tested a bunch of materials, but in an emergency, you might think of hiding behind another person in order to get a smaller dose of radiation. So let's test a substance similar to human, a pork cutlet, to see if hiding behind another person would actually help. As you can see, the counter shows 498 counts, which is pretty much the same as in the case of bare radioactive material. So hiding behind another person, or a pile of cutlets, won't save you from gamma radiation. Unless it's a really really big pile of cutlets. While doing these experiments, 
we started to wonder how well the container actually blocks gamma rays. As you can see, a lot of radiation is still coming from the container that has a lead casing with a thickness of 20 mm. And this means that even if the radioactive material is stored in such containers, they should be kept away from people. Although the cutlets did not warm up in this experiment, they were probably very well sterilized, as the radiation killed off all the dangerous bacteria. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe and leave your comments below.